Lord Falkry will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. Want to have your clip featured in the Skyrim Clip of the Week? Simply record the clip on your Xbox and then send it to me via message. My gamertag is iryani, that's I-R-Y-E-N-I, -E and then you can message it to me over Xbox and I'll be able to view it. I look forward to seeing the clips that you guys send me. Now moving on to the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan and welcome back to another episode of Modded Monday. We're on week number 217 now, guys. I've picked out five new mods for you guys to check out and perhaps add them to your load order if you find them interesting. But like always, before we jump into them, I wanna remind you guys that I'm partnered with Gamersups, which in my opinion is the best energy drink on the market. So if you're looking for a better alternative to those gas station energy drinks that are really bad for you, try out Gamersups and use my link down below. You can also use the code RTD for a 10% discount on all your drinks, and I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys as well. So if you do end up trying the drink, definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Now that all that's out of the way, we can jump into this week's mods, and starting us off, we have the Racial Body Morphs mod. Now the mod page reads that this mod diversifies the heights and proportions of all the races in the game, based on lore in previous games. Orcs are big and burly, High Elves tower over other races, and Wood Elves are as short as they were in previous installments. In this version of the Racial Body Morphs comes with Quen's Improved Disabled Race Scaling, which is another mod included in this mod that just makes everything run together properly. And this mod's also compatible with the XP32 Skeleton mod, so I feel as though this works with any type of load order that you may have, and it's very small changes, but I feel very important changes as well, because if you look back to Oblivion, if you've played Oblivion, if you walk around, no matter what race you are, everyone is at different heights, but it seems like whenever they went over to Skyrim, it seems like everyone stays around the same height now. This mod changes it so that the races are more unique and they have different heights, and it's obviously not noticeable whenever I'm showing you, you know, me walking around like this, but if I show you a picture where they're all side by side to each other, you'll definitely be able to see the difference in height with these races. This also means that whenever you have conversations with someone who's taller or shorter than you, it feels a lot more personable and it's not just, you know, your eye level with every single NPC that you meet in the game. There might be someone taller or shorter, so you may have to look up or down whenever it comes to talking to them in a dialogue menu. But other than that, I think this is a very simple mod that's perfect to start off this week's episode because it nods to the lore like in Oblivion in previous titles where the races looked a lot different from each other and everyone that you talked to felt a lot more unique. And still to this day, I'm not sure why they made that decision moving from a Oblivion to Skyrim, I feel as though it had something to do with upscaling and downscaling the armor for the different heights. It may have been easier to just do one armor set that fits every race, I'm not sure. But regardless, that's why we have the Racial Body Morphs mod here in our number 5 spot, so I'd recommend downloading it and checking out some of these new unique NPCs yourself. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have a brand new badass armor set called Mehrun's Marauder Armor. This mod adds a full standalone light armor set to Skyrim, deserving for any pirate who is in touch with evil forces. It's rumored that some pirates across the Sea of Ghosts prey not only to the Divines, but the Daedric forces as well. You can find the armor in the mid and dark inside of a Master Lock chest, and this armor can be tempered under Daedric too. This armor is compatible with males and females as they share the same mesh, and there's a hood variant with no face for those who don't like the helmet. And most of these textures have been edited, but it won't touch the vanilla textures, so it should be compatible with any other armor set that you have out there. Now this is a mid to end game level armor set, but it is possible to get right off the bat whenever you enter the College of Winterhold. You can travel straight to the midden and get it at level 1, which may be a little broken at the beginning of the game, having Daedric armor right at the beginning may make you a little bit overpowered. But this armor is incredibly badass and it's so worth wearing for everywhere that you would go, because not only does it have a very high armor rating and will protect you in combat, you also look incredibly intimidating to anyone that you may come across. I really like the glowing red helmet as well as how they made the gauntlets because of just how awesome it looks whenever you're casting spells from them. I feel as though this is an armor set that you can use with any build in any circumstance. With it being a full set of light armor, it's very easy to carry around everywhere, it still gives you that protection, and even if you're not doing any questing and you maybe don't need the armor, you can also put it inside your house on a display mannequin and it looks incredible. 
and that's definitely why it's featured here at our number 4 spot, so I strongly recommend downloading and wearing the Mehrunes Marauder armor. Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have an entirely outside player home called Mazgrim Stronghold. Now the mod page reads that Mazgrim was fated to be the fifth wife of her clan chief until she said screw that and named herself chief of her own stronghold. But now she's off adventuring, so you can go ahead and move in. The location is on the other side of the mountain peak from Kesh the Periot Worshipper, and the key features of this house include custom storage, crafting stations, all of the blacksmith stations, and a small hut for four followers. Now like you heard me say earlier, this is a completely outside player home, which means there's no loading doors, and everything is right outside in the Tamriel world space. So it's very easy to just fast travel to your house, go put all your items away, and then either fast travel away or run straight out of your house and continue your adventure. I absolutely love house mods that do this, but it's very hard to find a house mod that doesn't add too much that it starts to dip your frame rate, but this I felt as though was a small enough house mod and a very beautiful house mod as well, and it also comes in at a very small memory space, coming in at 364.59 kilobytes, and it has pretty much everything that you'd need. There's no dips in frame rate depending on your load order. I also feel as though that house mod creators can learn from a mod like this because outside player homes are really cool. There's not too many that are out there right now, and a lot of them, like I said, have frame rate issues and that may also be the reason why people don't make outside player homes too often, but when they're done right, they're done perfectly and they look awesome, and their functionality of being able to quickly walk in and quickly get out without having to see so many loading doors, or maybe if you're role playing as someone who has a family outside and they don't want to live in a hold, and maybe they just want to live in the woods and hunt for a living, this is definitely a player home that you can do that with, because you know you have the hunting grounds and then you have the area with all the beds for your followers in this side, and then the fact that you're out in the middle of pretty much no nowhere, not near any holds, you pretty much have your own slice of Skyrim to yourself out with the Mazgrim Stronghold, and that's definitely why this mod's featured here at a number 3 spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading it and giving it a try for yourself. Coming in at a number 2 spot, we have the Window Shadows ELFX Patch Together mod. Now this is a combination of the Window Shadows and ELFX mods with fixes. There's a separate version available that includes a modified ELFX enhancer to work with the window shadows, but we're just going to be focusing on the regular ELFX patch together mod here. Now this is a merged port that includes the enhanced light and effects, meshes and textures, the window shadows mod itself, and then the window shadows ELFX patch with it as well. And finally on top of that you have the original ELFX fixes mod, so that you have an all-in-one lighting mod instead of including five or six together to fully transform the lighting in Skyrim. Pretty much all you're going to need for this is the regular ELFX mod and then this Window Shadows FX mod bundle. Now this version is also compatible with ELE and RLO as well as Luminosity or anything else that doesn't change the light sources if this isn't enough for you. I've got a clip here of people entering Dragon's Reach without the mod and then I go and install the mod and play the exact same clip over and the change is incredible. I never would have thought there'd be so much difference with the interiors whenever you just let a little bit of window light through. I think that every interior looks amazing now, and I know I'm just showing, you know, the bars, inns, and taverns in some of the cities, but I can't even begin to show you how much this changes, because it changes literally all of the lighting in every single area in the game, whether you're inside of a building or not, and this Window Shadows mod on top of that just completely transforms every interior as well. So if you're looking for some improvements to your lighting, and maybe want brighter interiors, or maybe just more real looking interiors, then the Window Shadows ELFX Patch Together mod is definitely a bundle I'd recommend downloading. Coming in at our number one spot, we have the Overhaul of Overhauls. This is Simon Rim All-in-One, which is an overhaul mod bundle of overhauls, which is absolutely incredible. All of these mods are created by Simon Magus. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that correctly, sorry if I didn't. And this is a very talented mod creator that creates a ton of different overhauls. And he's also the author of Mysticism, the magic overhaul that we cover in our load order videos, as well as Aetherius, a race overhaul, which has been featured in a video before. But I will briefly say that the race overhaul changes all of the stats for the races to be more realistic and better. And then Mysticism adds over 200 new spells into the game. Adamant completely overhauls the entire perk tree system in the game, just like Ordinary does, but it's a lot more simplistic than Ordinator. I think that Ordinator went above and beyond and it's maybe, you know, too confusing and adds too many perks, but if you want something that's a little more simpler and easier to understand, then Adamant's a perfect mod there. And then the Adamant Shrines and Amulets just changes the different types of effects that you get from Shrines and how the Amulets look and work. And then the Munda Standing Stone Overhaul obviously changes all of the Standing Stones to have better effects. The Encounter Zone Overhaul changes combat and how you encounter people across the world of Skyrim when you're adventuring. 
The combat overhaul, obviously again, will just change up the combat, make it so that enemies are a lot more tough. And then the Sion Vampire overhaul changes all the perks for vampires and how they function in combat. And as well with the Man Beast Werewolf overhaul that does the same with the werewolves there. The Alchemy overhaul changes how the potions work and how whenever you drink a potion, it actually takes five seconds to take its full effect instead of giving you the effect right away after you drink it. The food and drink add-on is just like the Alchemy overhaul. It just changes the effects that the food and drink gives you and makes the buffs a lot better. And then finally, the Pilgrim Religion overhaul. So in total, this mod covers the races, the magic, the perks, the shrines and amulets, the standing stones, the encounter zones, combat, adding timed blocks to the game, a vampire overhaul, werewolves, alchemy, food and drink, and religion all in one mod and all held within 72.48 megabytes. This is an incredible and groundbreaking mod that has come to the mod page here, and I can't even begin to explain how useful a mod like this is. I remember a couple weeks ago whenever we were talking about the future of mod packs, and this pretty much is the future of mod packs here. This is an overhaul overhaul. The overhaul of all overhauls, as you would say. An all-in-one mod that includes so many overhauls that we've even covered in the past that you may have even had experience with before too. This mod completely transforms Skyrim as a whole and makes it an entirely new experience, and that's definitely why the Simon Rim all-in-one mod comes in at our number one spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading it. So that's pretty much it for this week's episode of the top 5 Skyrim mods of the week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any suggestions for mods you'd like me to cover in future top 5 mod episodes, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to leave my Twitter in the description, and you guys can follow me on there and leave me suggestions there as well. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys have done for me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.